Hello and welcome to News Click. I'm Sumedha and this is a new episode of the Daily Roundup where we bring you the glimpse of some of the most important stories that we report about at News Click. There is no end to the struggle of the Delhi University teachers. In another protest march today, the teachers marched all the way from the Ramlila Maidan to the Parliament Street. The protest march which was organized under the banner of the Delhi University Teachers Association held that they were protesting against the lack of absorption of teachers. During the course of the march over thousands of teachers were also arrested. The teachers have time and again pointed out that there are systematic attempts being made to clamp down on the university as well as privatize it. Some of the major issues that are concerning the teachers include the contractualization as well as the lack of permanency for the ad hoc teachers. It also includes issues such as the maternity leave for ad hoc teachers. They have been protesting against the policies such as that of the HEFA fund as well as the tripart agreement. The ad hoc teachers have also been sitting on a hunger strike for the past 5 days. Today the 17th of January marks the 3 years of the institutional murder and the death of Rohit Vemela at the Hyderabad Central University after facing systematic harassment as well as being targeted because of his caste Vemela was forced to end his life leaving a big question mark on the Indian higher education system in an emotional and a thought provoking letter 3 years after his death student suicides are still rife with public funded universities being systematically attacked by the government For many Dalit scholars who dream big and want to change their lives, the possibilities are being reduced. Even in 2019, when Dalit scholars enter higher education institutions, they are met with institutional apathy, discrimination, which comes out of a deep-seated understanding of caste. Over 2 lakh midday meal cooks have been on an indefinite strike for the past 10 days in Bihar. The cooks have threatened to intensify their agitation following the lack of minimum wages. They have stated that they should be given minimum wages under the social security and labor laws. The indefinite strike began under the banner of Bihar Rajya Madhyan Bhojan Rasoiya Sanyukt Sangharsh Samiti. It is a joint struggle of multiple federations and associations being actively supported by four trade unions in the state. These include the Center of Indian Trade Unions, the All India Trade Union Congress, the All India United Trade Union Center and All India Central Council for Trade Unions. Feminist and progressive groups have been protesting in the Andalusia province of Spain against the conservative ultra right wing coalition that is set to assume power in the country. Tens of thousands of women assembled outside the parliament on Tuesday where the investor debate began. The protesters are heavily critical of the stances that the right-wing party Vox has taken on the issues of radical feminism, LGBTQ rights as well as abortion. The Communist Party of the Andalusian region has also expressed its concerns about the spread of fascism not in the region and the province but also in Spain at large as well as all over Europe. That's all that we have for you today on this episode of the Daily Roundup. To follow these stories and many more, log on to our website www.newsclick.in. Also follow us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. Also we'd like to tell our viewers that we're looking at your comments and we want you to engage with us even more. So like our video as well as comment on it.